Hi guys and welcome back to Relationship Facts. I'm Michelle Leving and I am a relationship coach. This segment that I do is specifically to explain and define different terminologies that are used within the dynamics of a relationship. So today we're actually going to be talking about monogamy and polyamory. Monogamy is basically the traditional sense of what we think a relationship is like. However, the terms of that have actually changed quite a bit in the last couple of years. Monogamy used to mean one person for life. So you basically met someone when you were young, you got married, you had kids, whole nine yards, and that was the one person you were until you died, till death do us part. However, that has changed quite a bit in the last century or so. It more likely means one person at a time now. So you could have 10, 15 relationships throughout your life. However, while you're in that relationship, you are loyal, you are committed, you are not seeing anybody else. It is just the two of you during that time. That time period can last anywhere from a couple of months to a couple of years. Um, and during that time you are fully committed and not going anywhere else. However, polyamory is something that is becoming a lot more common these days. Polyamory back in the day actually was more of an economic solution to difficult situations. So there were certain climates within history where um, there was not really a lot of different people that you could, um, you know, populate, have a family and do that sort of thing. So maybe there was like one woman and there were seven brothers and she would end up marrying all of them and bearing all of them children. And it just worked socially and economically for them to do it that way. Um, polyamory was also something that was used where a king would have 20 wives and uh, that way he could have lots of heirs in different ways or it was just a status symbol uh, to be able to do it like that. However, it's definitely not something that was very common, especially after the uh, romance era where things started changing and love became very important. It wasn't about economics or social status anymore. It was about finding true love. Um, so things definitely changed and it became a lot less common, though there are still some religious groups who believed that that was kind of the way of life and the way to do things. Nowadays, however, polyamory is definitely becoming a lot more common. Um, people, of course, nowadays just kind of refer to it as poly or an open relationship. So it can have a couple of different meanings for different people. So poly could either be that um, you marry multiple people or you have relationships with multiple people. It could also mean that you are married to one person and they are your partner. However, you are open and you can see other people on the side. Um, however, they don't take the same status as your married partner. Um, it could also just mean that you aren't actually into the whole marriage commitment thing. And instead, you rather just have a bunch of casual things um, going on in your life. So that is actually becoming a lot more common. And I think it's because with divorce rates going as high as they have been going and people having access to social media, which shows the world in a much more broader view. And it's not so confined to just, you know, the few people in your town or city. And you just have so much option now, not to mention, we're a lot more densely populated than we have been in the past. So options are endless. People are a lot more restless. People have shorter attention spans than they used to. And just being stuck with one person is so daunting. And that kind of long-term commitment has been, um, not as popular as it has been in the past. It used to be a whole thing of, oh, it's so romantic, that one person for life. And that's just what you want to do to, you know, have that like long-term commitment to show that you're like this really stable, solid couple. You're the power couple. You can just have this uh, really strong connection with one other person. Nowadays, people don't really seem to care as much about that, though, of course, there are still plenty of traditionalists out there. Um, but that is sort of one of the reasons why poly has been becoming a lot more popular than it has been in the past. People aren't as conformed to tradition and religion and um, just structure the way that things used to be. So that's kind of the difference between monogamy and polyamory. Um, so you probably should decide at the very beginning whether you're a monogamous type of person or a polyamorous type of person. Though there are some people who will try them both out and just kind of get a feel for what works best for them. And sometimes that's even best just to kind of decide where you're at and what makes most sense for you and your own personal happiness. 
some very big difficulties will actually arise if you start trying to mix someone who's polyamorous and someone who is monogamous and try to make them work together because it doesn't always work very well because they have two very different viewpoints on how they see the world and what makes sense to them. This also kind of ties into my uh, topic of cheating, which I kind of discussed in some other videos. For one person, something might be considered cheating, whereas for someone else, it is not considered cheating. They just have a very different viewpoint on how they see relationships and how they experience love. So that's something you definitely need to communicate with your partner right at the beginning, what type of relationship they are actually interested in. I hope that helps explain things to you. And again, if you ever have questions, please feel free to reach out. Leave me a comment below if you have any of your own opinions or ideas or strong feelings on this topic. I love to hear from you. And if you want to hear more from me on relationship facts, then definitely subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys and have a good day.